Take note. All right, welcome back. Um, in a short while, we'll be, we'll be diving into our, our next conversation, which is around um, the ruling of Progressive Congress and um, um, is a National Executive um, Council meeting, uh, the controversy around the national chairman, uh, how he, he was able to get a um, vote of confidence, yes, as against um, uh, popular expectations that it was going to get a vote of no confidence, but um, was able to pull through with a vote of confidence, and that will be our focus on uh, uh, the show as we speak. Uh, but, but Zika, let me just ask you this: uh, by <coughs> by implication, by implication, do you think um, this would have uh, uh, a general implication, general impact on um, the way politics has been played in Nigeria? So I'm pleading the fifth. Maybe we should direct the question to Libero Sashoma, who has just joined us via Skype. Uh, Libero Sashoma is a lawyer, and we'll be addressing these issues alongside another guest who will join us much later. Good morning, Libero. Yeah, good morning. Great. So um, David was asking if, uh, if what transpired last Friday at the APC NEC meeting uh, what do you make out of it? It was supposed to be a make or mar day for the national chairman of the party, uh, yet it seems to have gotten a vote of confidence. Uh, uh, um, before the meeting, there were some allegations that, uh, you know, before then there were some, um, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, a, a letter some interest calling on national chairman to resign his office. And um, I did say that for a ruling party at that time, that the only way you could um, see that through is if the president was not in, no longer interested in, you know, um, the person of the national chairman of the party, or if he has lost confidence in the person of the national chairman of the party. But at the president, uh, President Muhammad Buhari, was still very much happy uh, with uh, um, the performance of uh, the national uh, chairman of the party, Comrade Adam Sushomole. And, and so I expected what happened that day to happen. And, 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 and that's the way, you know, Nigeria political class had been have been there doing their thing. You know, uh, Liberos. People cut, unfortunately. You know, uh, Liberos, you, you said it is. Um, yes, I can hear you. You said it is impossible for such a, a, a move to scale through, except if the president is in support or not in support. So tell me exactly why would you think that uh, uh, yes. the, the, the president is not in support of uh, 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 the call for resignation of uh, uh, the national chairman? Would you, in your own thinking, say that he has done so well for the party? Uh, before Oshomole came on board, um, there were, uh, they, mind you, before I even go there, um, you know, every political party in Nigeria had um, its, you know, leaders, you know, vet, vested interests. You know, so there might be a lot of interest, but the most important thing to look out for uh, most times is um, the leadership of the party and how well, how satisfied they are with the conduct of uh, the um, of um, of the party, uh, talking about the national leadership of the these the office holders of the party, and and so for Shomole's uh, tenure before Shomole came on board, there were a lot of um, misgivings. There were a lot, lot of um, quarrels between them. Um, if you remember. Uyegu, who was the then uh, former governor of Edo State, who was the then national chairman of the party then, at a point when um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu was appointed as the chairman to head a reconciliatory committee of the party, some people also felt that Tinubu himself needs to be reconciled to the party. 
you know. But when Oshomole, you also saw the politics that played out before the emergence of Oshomole. And so the moment Oshomole came on board, also, mind you, most of the governors in the state had hijacked the party structures at the state level. And so you saw a former a chairman, a national chairman, who also was a former governor, who, to some extent, was able to whip some governors into line. And then that also gave some form of respite to the, the, the center, that's the, 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 the president also. And uh, a situation or like when you have, uh, what you have with uh, Basanjo as a PDP chairman, where he also had to almost double as the national chairman of his party, even though at some point you had Aoudou Ogbe uh, as national chairman. You also had, um, before then was Solomon La, and then subsequently Aoudou Ogbe, and then Barnabas Gamade, you know. But for this one, it, it seems so Shomole is able to to do the bidding of, um, you know, the, the owners, permit me to use the word, of the party. And, and so to that, definitely, and, and naturally, they will be happy, you know, with his performance. And, and until they are not... Uh, until they are unsatisfied with his performance, I I, I dare to say that um, you know uh, Ushomole would um, would stay put. And mind you, in political, let me use the everyday word that we use in in political parlance here: the cabals of the party. If the cabals are happy with him, then whoever definitely there will be complaint from certain quarters or some governors who he has uh, successfully whipped into line, you know, would complain. But whether the cabals or the owners of the party will listen is another thing altogether. All right, so um, the plot to remove Adam Sushomale, uh, according to reports that we have, is led by the chairman of the Zamfara State chapter of the party, uh, Lawal Liman. Now, we know what transpired during the it's last... Expected. We know what transpired during the last um, election in Zamfara State, uh, primaries especially. Now, he's also backed by uh, Ogun State and Ondo States. Now, do you think that, uh, you have said already is expected, uh, do you think they are coming from the angle that um, Oshomole did not do their bidding? Um, they are coming from, the, mind you, the uh, um, former governor of Ogun State and then the current governor of uh, Ondo State, uh, even in the last, last NEC meeting, their suspension was ratified. Um, so you, you would expect that these people also would want their pound of flesh from Oshomole. Uh, if you remember, you know, the event that happened before the election, um, I also expect some people in Imo also, you know, to, to, to be aggrieved. Zamfara, uh, because of the crisis in Zamfara, APC completely lost out in, uh, in that state, even though, you know, uh, they won the election. But... By the Supreme Court judgment, we all know what happened. And, and, and so you don't expect the former governor to take all of that lying low. Uh, or that the man who presumably won that election and that the court eventually voided, you don't expect him to take it lying low also. They're definitely going to fight back. And so that's why you saw you know, the, the, the heat coming from that direction. But also, I think what the, the attitude of... Um, the president and the other leaders of the party, you know, uh, has shown is that they have um, moved on the Zamfara and the uh, uh, River State, and, and and so that's why today the uh, uh, event of uh, the election in uh, Kogi and Bayesa, and, and you know whether we like it or not, uh, Oshomole also. These games, you know, especially 1999, it was during his tenure that uh, APC, in respect of um, the synergy that would have happened, it was during his tenure that APC was. Started. And so they also see this as game and, um, you know, would play down on those, um, those from those areas, knowing fully well the event. People from his state also are those things. Yeah, yes, not you know, failing to mention that also. We we apologize for that um, break. We keep having um, ups and downs, but I hope we can pull through before the show is over. So quickly, Liberals, um, 
The party, there are, there are indications that um, the party is, uh, there is a, a few uh, break, breaks here in the party. Uh, uh, a fallout of the meeting, rather, was, 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 a, was a fact that the party is setting up reconciliation um, committee. Okay, well, uh, let's, let's wait till we get back to, to Liberos on, on this matter. Um, so, so Zika, we, we see um, uh, part of the resolutions at the meeting was that um, a reconciliation committee will be set up. So, um, we, if if there is a reconciliation committee being set up, that means there are issues around the party that needs to be reconciled. Exactly. Yeah. You know, at some point, uh, the the meeting became rowdy, and then president walked out. Yes. As some have said it was a good omen. What I said is a bad omen that the president should have been there to, you know, listen to all those involved and settle the so-called scores that they're having there. Uh, but, um, you know, one of the things they want to settle is the rift between uh, the former governor of Edo State and the now national leader of the APC, Adam Shomali, and the current governor of Edo State, uh, Obasaki. Uh, we know that this rift has, has been ongoing for months now. Uh, where there's a faction loyal to the governor of Edo State and there's a faction uh, loyal to um, uh, Adam Sashomala, the national chairman of the party. And we know an election is coming very shortly and, you know, all these things just uh, boil down together. It looks like it's dragging the party behind people who are not in support of um, uh, uh, Adam Sashomala as the, as the current uh, national leader calling for his resignation as well. So he's been pulled in different directions from his home state, uh, from the national level via some states that uh, don't like his style of administration, so to speak. Uh, but some will say that Adam Shomale has actually brought some governors to their knees, oh. as opposed to before he became the national chairman, uh, where governors had uh, a say in almost everything, a, a, right? A free day. A, a free, free day. day. You know, yeah. they, they call the shots. But as a national chairman, uh, apparently he has done well in making them know that uh, they are governors of their state, yes, but they are accountable in the quote to him as a national chairman. To the, to the party, to the, 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 party. the, the to platform the party. to which they, 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 they belong. Yes, uh, uh, part, of, part of the issues that uh, was not resolved also was um, uh, uh, the issue around um, the former governor of Ogun State, Ibukule Amosu, and um, Rocha Zakarocha. Uh, they were at their own suspension. I'm sure they were supposed to be, the, the issues are supposed to be looked at, but unfortunately it was not looked at. Well, back to the Edo State matter, like, like you rightly said, um, it, it comes with, a, with huge implications on the, on the party in that state if this um, is not um, resolved, if this issue is not resolved. Uh, elections are just around the corner and then we see a party, uh, the ruling party in the state, um, seemingly divided within itself. Uh, and that, you, that, know, mm. you know, the, the beginning of all this is from, that's from the states and Farago mm. and uh, yeah. Imo states uh, for the direct and indirect primaries. Yeah. Uh, but we understand that Liberos Oshama's connection is now... Uh, a lot better. Clear. Hopefully, uh, as clear as crystal. Uh, Liberos, uh, let me say welcome back, and uh, we apologize for uh, the rough network we've experienced over over time. Uh, let me bring you up to speed of what um, uh, Lehman said uh, in his address he gave after the meeting with the neck. He said, that's what, to the press, he said, uh, he, not just him, him and other aggrieved members, uh, on Friday, he said that Oshomale's resignation would help in stemming the slide and provide an enabling environment for genuine healing, reconciliation, and the practice of true democracy within the party across the country. He also added that Oshomale had usurped the powers of the party's neck, uh, that's uh, the national, the, the internal party neck, not the neck we, we, we know, uh, due to his dictatorial and despotic tendencies. Now, do you think that this shows how toxic uh, dealings in the party has become from the statement of Lehman Lawal. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. Yes, please go ahead. Well, I, I must say it's, um, yeah, I must say this, that um, APC, right from the onset, even when um, uh, Chief B.C. Akonde was the national chairman of the party, had never pretended to be, um, uh, not for, to not being, you know, 
a, a kind of dictator. Um, permit me, I, I, let me explain a little bit further. Remember Chief Bisi Akonde then saying that um, when he was national chairman of ACN, that eventually merged into APC, and you see you have so many of them there, saying uh, that they believe more in benevolent dictatorship, uh, that you know they know their members, and so it is not enough for you to just join them with your crowd and then come dominate, come dominate um, the, the the party, and and so to that extent they are they believe more, they practice more benevolent dictatorship, and and so. The question would be, like I said, I maintain consistently that you will have aggrieved members, definitely. Every ruling party would have aggrieved members. But like we see politics in Nigeria, I would advise those aggrieved members, if, um, if the owners, the, 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 those that are holding the structure of the party, if they are happy with the leadership of the party, um, I, I really don't see any, any, anything happening. Or unlike a situation where you actually practice democracy, where you say you can't Ghana members, Ghana signatures, and then, you know, majority would carry the day. But in this case, I really don't see, I'm, I'm just quote me today that nothing will happen except the president and a few leaders of the party, you know, believes otherwise. And also, if you remember, during that next meeting, the suspension of Amosu, the suspension of um, the, former, the current governor of Ondo State, and um, Rocha Sukurosha, we are ratified without without uh, many delay. One would have expected that um, that suspension were, would um, would have been lifted pending the resolution or the reconciliation uh, of um, or the or the the conclusion of the job of uh, the reconciliation committee. But um, the the what do you call it? The neck ratified um, the suspension of um, of, of the, those members. And then, you know, the chairman of the party, uh, national chairman of the party also, in his press address, said that nobody is above the party. And uh, and, and then, when we talk about these uh, elections, uh, uh, the party preparing uh, for election, with what happened in Kogi, really, I must say this, and I'm on an international platform, I must say this, with what happened in Kogi, you still think that... Um, you know, these people believe in election. I, 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 I doubt. With what happened in Kogi and the president and the chairman of the party even boasting and congratulating Yaya Bello, you'd still think that uh, would uh, would be talking about majority, you know, uh, in uh, democrat the, the democracy that we practice today. So they know how they play their game, and so that's why really they really don't uh, bother about you and I, and that's why they can afford, you know, to whip certain persons you know, into line. And then I must say this also. If we actually truly practice democracy, it's a lot of, the, a lot of these people that parade themselves as politicians today are belonging to some of these ruling parties would not be in, in any political party because they would have long be, be suspended for anti-party activities. But unfortunately, we are where we are and you, where you have the worst of us ruling the best of us. And, and so that's why, you know, our politicians and the political party will continually take the form and shape that they take, that we see. Let me draw your attention to uh, a few statements that was made by the president at the meeting, where he says, and I quote, he says, history will not be fair on to the members if the APC collapses after his second term. He says, history will be fair to the APC if the party remains strong and not only hold the center, <coughs> but make gains. Does this mean that the president is a bit uh, skeptical about the survival of the party after his tenure? Yeah, because um, he also accepts you, you, you bury your hand in, in the sand. Um, he also sees the, the horse trading, the scheming going on in the party. Like I call it a ruling party syndrome, where you know we don't like playing opposition because party for some people is a means to an end is come chop and and so because we don't like playing opposition in this part of the world you know you will have a marriage of strange bedfellows provided you are a ruling party and so the president is also showing this that you know it seems the only thing that is holding the party together now is the fact that they are the uh, ruling party otherwise if not the fact that they are ruling party i think that probably they probably would have disintegrated 
by by now. Because what do you have? You have a lot of vested interest, and everybody wants the control of the center. And that's why to some some of them had been scheming, you know, trying to sell a third term agenda to the president. And if he doesn't buy it, they know that um, you know, if elections are, are allowed to be free and fair in this climate, that it might be difficult for some of them to even actually face, you know, the, the electorate. But they would want to sell a dummy. Oh, the president wants the president. Uh, they know that the president enjoys, still enjoys to some extent also, um, a massive support from some regions of the country. And then that his um, integrity that had consistently been sold. There is still some form of... Uh, That's why they, they constantly tell him, you know, with the part. If all of these factors are not considered and all of these um, vested interests are not uh, harmonized and um, uh, work together for the good of the party, you might just, if, and if they are unable to win a national election, um, you might just see them disintegrating and some of them going back to where they came from. And you know, the moment they won election, a lot of people decamped into the party, and um, from PDP, uh, from you, you know a few uh, fringe parties here and there, uh, and those are the fears, President. Those are what he's uh, also uh, the fears is entertaining, which is why he believes that history will not be fair to them. But he can do something now. He still has the time to do something. He can right. genuinely and sincerely, you know, act towards. Uh, certain uh, interest, but act truly as the president of the entire you know, members of the party, the party, both the ones that he's happy with and the ones that he's not happy with. All right, Liboros, us, before we let you go. setting up a reconciliatory committee to reconcile everybody. All right, um, just before we let you go, uh, the president was said to have walked out uh, of that meeting when he became rowdy. And some of the issues they were supposed to discuss, some of the salient uh, matters they were supposed to discuss was... Uh, the need to reconcile Oshomole and Obasaki, uh, filling the existing, existing vacant positions in the National Working Committee, uh, which were not ratified. Now, uh, the reason in the first place for this um, meeting was to ratify this. Now, would you say that the issues uh, meant to be addressed during the next meeting is still unresolved? Yes, uh, those issues are unresolved and they will be unresolved uh, maybe next to next because um, um, we, we know that politicians, Nigerian politicians especially, tries um, in the atmosphere of chaos. And, and so I think that was why the president walked out on them or that the president also felt that he had handled or dealt with the issues he wanted to deal with and the, every other issue had become um, unnecessary. Or also that because he was becoming rowdy, he also felt that um, no meaningful you know, uh, discussions you know, can be held in such atmosphere because some people actually you know, would hold on, hold on to their guns and then it might become um, uncontrollable. And it would also not be too good to have uh, the president in a meeting that will become rowdy and uncontrollable. You know, it will go a long way. On, on, on also uh, telling, speaking of, um, you know, uh, how, how the party, you know, structures or how, how, how far or the extent to which, you know, uh, the party can be organized. And so I think with that, you know, he brought the meeting to an abrupt end and then that also ended all of those issues. And I, I also would have, I would say that uh, with the attitude of some of the members, I think that was the best thing to, that was the best option for the president to have walked out of, 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 of uh, the meeting because uh, you cannot, like I said, you cannot discuss anything meaningful in an atmosphere such as that. Uh, if the with what they have done and set up a reconciliation committee, the reconciliation committee will be able to go around and then you know collate, um, do its job and then submit a report, which cannot be a basis for discussion and taking those steps that they ought to have taken at that meeting. Because otherwise, there's nothing meaningful that would have come out of, of a rowdy session. Because people came with prepared mindsets. And nobody, uh, we all know the way it is, and nobody would have been willing to listen to the other party, uh, and which is quite unfortunate.
Thank you. Thank you so very much uh, for, for talking to us. All right. Thank you so much, Liberos Shoma, a lawyer. Thank you for your time with us. Uh, we hope to have you in the studio when next to call you. Thank you so much. All right, um, we will not take a break. I don't think we should take a break. Blessed and Wasu is already here uh, to, give us, to give us some sports update. But let's take this break. We'll be right back.